Sometimes our ambitions become our burdens. The zeal to control and manipulate every outcome often saps our energies and leaves us more defeated than before. It's a bit counterintuitive, but to truly attract the reality we desire, we need to first relinquish our obsessive hold on it. What we often overlook is that the act of obsessively clinging to an outcome can create mental congestion. This internal roadblock prevents the free flow of creative and productive energies. When the mind is preoccupied with force and control, there is no room for the spontaneous emergence of opportunities and insights. Detachment isn't about apathy or disinterest. It's about taking a step back to let the natural laws of the universe operate freely. Just as water flows effortlessly along the path of least resistance, so does the manifestation of our goals when unencumbered by mental strain. Detachment allows us to be agile and adapt to see the opportunity in a challenge rather than the challenge as a roadblock. When you give up, you are not surrendering your ambitions, but rather surrendering your anxieties. This act cleanses the mental palate, so to speak, and allows the richness of life's possibilities to shine through unfiltered. Sometimes, you have to clear away the old to make space for the new. It's like taking your hands off the steering wheel for a moment to let the car find its own equilibrium. The vehicle, in this case, is your life, and the autopilot is the innate wisdom and capability within you. When you relieve your mind from the self-imposed pressures of having to control every outcome, you open up a different kind of space, one that is both mental and experiential. The space is not a vacuum. Rather, it's filled with potentialities that were always present, but not perceptible due to the mental clutter you carried. Surrendering control isn't relinquishing power. It's shifting the locus of that power. You transfer the baton to a more dynamic, decentralized form of governance, where unseen forces, be it coincidences, serendipity, or what some might call fate, come into play. These forces operate at the intersection of possibility and actuality. They take the raw material of your desires, ambitions, and skills, and forge something tangible out of them. They are not mystical entities, but the natural algorithms of life that take into account variables you couldn't possibly foresee or integrate on your own. By opting for detachment, you voluntarily enter a partnership with these unseen architects, providing them the latitude to arrange situations, relationships, and events in a way most harmonious to you. Think of it as a dance. When you step back, you allow your partner the unseen forces, the opportunity to lead, to showcase their choreography. You still contribute to the dance, but you do so with a sense of openness, fluidity, and responsiveness. You become less a commander of your destiny and more a co-creator. This relationship isn't one. Sided. It's a dynamic interplay where the outcome is not just a result of your actions, but a harmonious alignment of multiple vectors, including those beyond your immediate awareness. In this partnership, you recognize that your perspective is not panoramic, but limited. You understand that your toolkit for handling life's complexities is not exhaustive, and that's not a weakness, but an acknowledgement of the multidimensional chessboard on which life unfolds. So when you give up, you're not abdicating your responsibilities or dreams. You are enabling a broader, more sophisticated algorithm to optimize the path between you and your goals. This is neither resignation nor defeat. It's an activation of a higher form of intelligence, a dance with the unseen choreographers of reality. In a world that equates effort with worth, the idea of giving up to receive can seem perplexing, if not heretical. 
Yet, when you pare down this concept to its bare bones, it reveals a profound, logical elegance. Less can indeed be more. The path to realization isn't necessarily through the labyrinth of relabyrinth of relentless striving, but often just a simple, open space where life unfolds as it should.